Deliveroo riders are striking again, Deliveroo riders are protesting again, and Deliveroo riders are logging out of the app, causing a scene outside restaurants and blocking the roads again. working on and off with Deliveroo for the last few years, sometimes full-time, sometimes part-time. The reason for this is because it's pretty much impossible to make decent money full-time. On top of that, the workers' rights are just absolutely terrible. No sick pay, no holiday pay, over-hiring, so it's hard to make money because there's so many guys waiting for a job. Over-firing, technically when you work for Deliveroo, you're not employees, you're independent contractors, which is basically Deliveroo's sneaky little way of getting out of giving you any rights whatsoever. And there's other real problems such as inconsistent pay. So you get paid a different amount for the same length journey on different days and different weeks. And on top of that, Deliveroo's overarching philosophy is if they're not making money, you're not making money. So if Deliveroo has a quiet week, you might not be able to pay your bills, which is why I went along to the protest to film it and check it out. At this stage of the protest, I was slightly disappointed. <laughs> so I was fully behind the strike up until this point. At this point in the evening, I was a little bit disappointed because Ui Diner and Mission Burrito that they were protesting outside are both local, independent, fairly small. Uh, Bristol-based businesses and it seemed unfortunate to be focusing our attention on those restaurants because it makes much more sense to focus our attention on the big fish that Deliveroo are making a lot of money from. So I was a little bit disappointed by that because it also occurred to me that actually contacting these restaurants and trying to get them as allies might be a more effective way of uh, getting stuff done. So I have spoken to the guys that have been organising the strike about this They've admitted that maybe that was a mistake and moving forward I think attention is going to be on the bigger businesses and apart from those small criticisms I have to take my hat off to the people organising the strike because they are doing a great job of putting pressure on Deliveroo they are doing a great job of organising riders and moving forward, like I said, hopefully they will reach out to these restaurants. I have actually spoke to a restaurant owner who agrees that Deliveroo completely take the piss and are very unhappy with Deliveroo themselves and they say that a lot of the restaurants feel the same. So moving forward, I think there could be room to uh, open a dialogue with restaurants and actually try and communicate with them rather than alienate them. I think that could be a really fantastic way of doing things moving forward. All that being said, these nationwide strikes are not going to stop anytime soon. So I guess the question is how Will Shu is going to respond to them. Will Shu, the CEO and co-founder of Deliveroo, thousands of people are not being able to support themselves through his company. He's getting richer and richer every day. His company is getting more and more profitable. The question is, is he going to put his hands in his pockets and improve the lives of his workers? The strikes aren't going to stop, so what happens over the next few months could be very, very interesting.